Hello viewers, this is Dao Too Fast here. In this video, I will show you this really awesome tool. Inside this box, believe it or not, is a 65 watt programmable soldering iron. And as you can see, this thing is light and it's compact. So how can it be? Well, let me open this up and I'll show you what this is. So here we have the user manual. and an Allen wrench one side is English the other side is Chinese what you're looking at is a TS100 65 watt programmable soldering iron from the company Miniware so let me take this out and I'll show you here's a handle and here's a soldering tip to assemble this, take your Allen wrench and loosen the set screw. Take the soldering tip and place it into this end right here. Now tighten the set screw down. Now that the unit is assembled, let's take a closer look. We have two buttons right here. The left button is used to initiate the heating element after it's powered on. You can also use both buttons here to control the temperature. Next to it we have this OLED LCD display and this will show you the temperature at the tip of the soldering iron. Next to the LCD we have this grounding screw. You can loosen this up and connect this to a ground so the tip is grounded. On this end we have two connectors. One is a micro USB connector and this is used for upgrading a software on this unit. Below that, this is a DC input port, and this unit will accept anywhere from 12 to 24 volt DC. This is a very portable soldering iron, but it's not a cordless soldering iron. And I'll show you two power sources you can use to power this unit up, allowing you to use this indoor, outdoor, anywhere you go. So here I have two different type of power source I can use to power this TS100 soldering iron. On the right, this is an AC adapter that's commonly used for many computer products or charging your laptop. This one, if you look at the spec, it does tell you the output is 12 volt DC at 5 amp. The outside conductor of this connector is common and the inside conductor is positive and that's what you want. Also, the size of this connector is a 2.5 millimeter adapter. So let me go ahead and connect this to the TS100 and you'll see the unit powers on and the display tells you to press the left button to start the heating element. Now before I do that I'll show you this other power source. This is a car jump starter power bank and I have this cable that I've connected to this DC 12 volt output port and over here it's also a 2.5 millimeter adapter. If you connect this to the TS100 and I turn this on, you'll see it powers on also. So now with the unit turned on, I'm going to press the left button to start the heating element. And you'll see the LCD display will show you the temperature reading off the tip. And you can see it's climbing up very quickly. Now with this 12 volt power supply, it can heat from 30 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius in about 40 seconds. But if you use a 24 volt power supply, it can go from 30 to 300 degrees Celsius in 11 seconds. You can also use these two buttons here to adjust the temperature. So we can set it to 350, let's say. Three thirty, three forty, three fifty. So at three fifty, let's see if it melts any solder. Now this soldering iron has a temperature range of one hundred degrees Celsius to four hundred degrees Celsius, and with that temperature range. You can use it to solder components on circuit boards 
or wires. So there are many different applications you can use this on. Another very nice feature about this unit is that it has a built-in accelerometer. So if you leave this idle and not using this after about three minutes, it will actually bring the temperature down to 200 degrees Celsius. This will prevent the oxidation of the soldering tip and also prolong its life and also help save energy. And the moment you pick this up, the heating element will start heating it up again and you can start using the soldering iron. So here I've set the temperature to 380 degrees Celsius. So let's try the soldering, the component on this circuit board. Here's the capacitor. We can put this back on. Here are a couple of wires we can remove from the circuit board. And now we'll try soldering these wires together. Did a nice job soldering these wires. Now if you're done with the soldering and you're not ready to turn this off, you can put it into standby mode, which lowers the temperature, by pressing the two buttons over here at the same time for three seconds. Now you see the temperature dropping. In standby mode, it drops it back down to about 30 degrees Celsius. And when you're ready to use it, press the left button again, and I'll start it up again. As you can see, this TS100 soldering iron is pretty incredible considering the size of it. It is extremely small and yet very capable. At first I thought this was more of a novelty item, but after doing some tests, it actually works quite well. I like the fact that they give you the ability to control the temperature and accurately monitor and control that temperature real time. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I consider this a portable tool but not a cordless tool because you still need an external power source to power this unit. That brings up another point about this device which is when you buy this you also need to consider do you have an external power source at home already or do you need to buy it to power this unit. With an input voltage of 12 to 24 volt DC you do have a lot of options if you have a 12 volt LiPo battery or you have a laptop power supply you can use it to power this device. The only thing you got to make sure is that the connector is a 2.5 millimeter connector. Now I got this TS100 from GearBest.com. I'll also provide another link to where you can get the power supply to power this unit. You can find all the information in the description below. And let me know what your thoughts are about this TS100. Leave a comment below. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.